please um, just bear with me. Let's read it. Hallelujah. Amen. We'll read a good number of passages, uh, scriptures. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Esther chapter 3. We're reading verse 1. We skip to verse 6. Media, take note. Esther chapter 3, verse 1. And then we skip to verse 6. we we'll read 6 to 13. And then we go to Esther chapter 4. We read verse 8. We go to Esther chapter 7. We read verse 10, uh, 8 to 10. And then we read Esther chapter 9, verse 14. Hallelujah. All of that is for emphasis. All is coming from Esther. If your name is Esther, God bless you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. So we are going to be talking about Esther today. It's not you. It's the one in the Bible. <laughs> the pastor was calling only my name throughout the service. <laughs> Hallelujah. Esther chapter 3 verse 1. Are we ready? Let's go together. Want to go? After these things did King Ahasuerus promote Haman, the son of Hamedeta, the Agagite, and advanced him and set his seat above all the princes that were with him. Verse 6. And he thought scorn. Okay, go back. Let's start from verse 5, please. Sorry. Do 5. Praise the Lord. Yes, five, for more emphasis. And when Haman saw that Mordecai bowed not, nor did him reverence, then was Haman full of wrath. All right, continue. And he, he taught scorn to lay hands on Mordecai alone. For they had showed him the people of Mordecai. Wherefore, Haman sought to destroy all the Jews that were throughout the whole kingdom of Ahasuerus. The people of Mordecai. Next verse, quickly. In the first month, that is the month Nisan, in the twelfth year of King Ahasuerus, they cast pearl. That is the Lord. It's like the true by Lord. He said, and the Lord did what? Before Haman, from day to day, and from month to month, to the twelfth month. That is the month Ada. And Haman said unto King Ahasuerus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people in all the provinces of their kingdom. And their laws are diverse from all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. Therefore, it is not for the king profit to suffer them or to allow them. In other words, continue. He said, if it pleases the king, let it be written that they may be destroyed and I will pay 10,000 talents of silver to the hands of those that have the charge of the business to bring it into the king's treasury. And the king took his ring from his hand and gave it unto Haman, the son of Amedeta. He said, the Agagite, the Jews' enemy. And the king said unto Haman, the silver is given to thee. The people also to do with them as he seemed good to thee. Then were the king's scribes called on the thirteenth day of the first month, and there was written according to all that Haman had commanded unto the king's lieutenants and to the governors that were over every province and to the rulers of every people. Language in the name of the king Hasros was it written. And sealed with the king's ring. Next. Last verse there. And the letters were sent by post into all the king's provinces to destroy, to kill, and to cause to perish all Jews, both young and old, little children and women, in one day, even upon the thirteenth day of the twelfth month, which is the month Ada, and to take the spoil of them for a prey. Esther chapter 4 verse 8. Esther 4 and verse 8. Can we read together? Also, he gave him a copy of the, written, of the writing of the decree that was given at Shushan to destroy them, to show it unto Esther and, and to declare it unto her and to charge that she should go in unto the king to make supplication unto him. And to make requests before him for her people. Chapter 7, verse 8 to 10. Chapter 7. 
chapter, Esther chapter 7, verse 8 to 10. Can we read further? Then the, kings, then the king returned out of the palace garden into the place of the banquet of wine, and Haman was falling upon the bed whereon Esther was. Then said the king, Will he force the queen also before in the house? As the word went out of the king's mouth, they covered Haman's Next verse. And Habona, one of the chamberlains, said before the king, Behold, also the gallows, 50 cubits, which, which Haman had made for Mordecai, who had spoken good for the king, standed in the house of Haman. Then the king said, Hang him thereon. Hallelujah. Eh? So they hanged Haman on the gallows that he had prepared for Mordecai. Then was the king's wrath pacified. The last scripture, Esther chapter 9, verse 14. And then we'll begin to hear what God has for us. Praise the Lord. Want to go? And the king commanded it so to be done. And the decree was given at Shushan. And it changed. And they hanged Haman's ten sons. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are sharing today on reverse evil decrees. Hallelujah. Somebody say reverse evil decree. Say, so Lord, reverse the decree. Please sit down. Let me bring you God's word. Hallelujah. I wanted us to read so you can have a picture of that story. I know some people have not been able to read that scripture to the end. But that is why I wanted to pinpoint something so we understand how it started and where it ended. Hallelujah. Can you say it one more time? Say, Lord, reverse the evil decree. Hallelujah. Number one, what is a decree? What is a decree? What is a decree? It, it is an official order. It's an official statement that is issued by a legal authority. Hallelujah. Decrees can be verbal or can be in writing. Decrees can be verbal, so it can be a spoken word. It can also be a writing, a letter. They can pass a judgment by letter. Hallelujah. Somebody say, reverse the evil decree. There are evil decrees in this life that we need to change. I want you to understand that the enemy began to copy God. God, the Bible says in Genesis chapter 1, and God said in verse 3, and God said, let there be light. And there was light. In Genesis chapter 1 and verse 6, and God said, in Genesis chapter 1 verse 9, and God said, in Genesis 1 11, and God said, in Genesis 1 14, God said, in Genesis 1 20, 24, God said, God keeps saying things. Genesis 1 26, God said, Genesis 1 29, God said, and Genesis 1 31, God saw. Hallelujah. There are people speaking evil. When you see things going wrong in a person's life, don't just look at the person as somebody who, does, who doesn't want to be good. There are children, people fired words, and you saw a child that was intelligent. Suddenly, they start failing exams. There are words that when it comes from people's mouth, there are words spoken. The Bible spoke, it said about Ahitophel. He said, one whose counsel as though you have inquired of the oracles of God. A man speaks, it's like God has spoken. There are people with power in their mouth. And that is why God said in this Lion of Judah service, there are many people suffering from what people have said. There are some people, when you were growing up, your life was better than this. Now you are getting matured. You can't tell what is going on. There is a word that has been spoken over your life. That is why God sent me here. Every evil decree over your life, I reverse it by fire. 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 Somebody shall fire. In Isaiah chapter 10 and verse 1, the Bible says, Woe unto them. That decree, evil decree. They will not have peace. Woe unto them. That do what? Decree. Unrighteous decrees. Woe unto them that decree unrighteous decree. There are things they have written concerning you. There are things they wrote down about your family. There are things they wrote about your forefathers. There are people you are walking in line with a decree that was mentioned to your great grandparents. They said nobody shall own a house. You are in America. Even the plot you bought, somebody seized it. There is a decree. 
and we will change it today. I don't know what that decree may be for your family. I said we shall change it today. The Bible says in Lamentation 3.37, Who is it that say it and it come to pass? When God has not commanded it, I came by the commandment of Yahweh. I reverse that evil decree. Whatever they have said over your life, a decree shall be reversed. In the name of Jesus. In Daniel 2.13, the Bible said the decree and the decree went forth. People are living by decrees. And these decrees don't come from the street. It comes from the ruler. It comes from people in rankings. It comes from people in height in politics. It comes from people in height in, 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 in the spiritual world. When they look at you, they say you can look good, but you will never settle. They look at you. They say you will work hard, but you will not eat the fruit of your labor. I came to cancel it. There is a decree that I heard from heaven. It says, speak over their life. Whatever is controlling your life in the area of negativity, I stand as an extension of grace. I decree over your life that decree is reversed i say it 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 is reversed in the name of jesus oh shaka balada in ephesians 6 number 12 he said we wrestle not against flesh and blood but against principalities listen there are people you are waiting to come and quarrel with you they will not quarrel they know what they have already said. There are people you are even looking for. There are some people you are looking to make peace with. No, no, no. They are not ready for peace. Because they have already destroyed you. They say you like, go up, come down. This is how your life will be. They say this is the definition of your destiny. They are not quarreling in the public. When you do things with them, and you don't know, you thought it's something, oh, I was just joking the other day. And they say, joke, no problem. I also joke myself. But they did not joke. They traveled somewhere, and they went to a place, and they began to mention your name, and they began to mention your family. And they said, for this thing you have done, not only you, you and your household. When I read the scripture, the Bible said he thought it's come to, to lay hands on Mordecai alone. In other words, he said, it's not enough to just deal with him. Let me deal with everybody connected to him. He said, let me deal with everyone connected to him. There are times, many times we think problems only came from father. Children have brought problems to their family. There are children that have killed their parents. By reason of the evil works, the mother got high blood. Some fathers got heart attack and they collapse and die. Because a child was a palanamaka. I came to reverse it. Whatever was spoken negative over your life, whatever was spoken negative over your family, I decree by the mandate of God, it shall be reversed. In this Lion of Judah service, we reverse it by fire. 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 I don't care where it came from. It may come from the grandfathers. It may come from the children. I decree we reverse it by fire. In the name of Jesus. There are many families under such decrees and they don't know what is happening. They're asking themselves, what is going on in this family? Some families, they decrease that nobody gets married or even if marriage stays in marriage. You discover that five siblings divorce. There is a decree. There are some families, they say nobody crosses the age 50. You are surprised somebody dies at 41. Another one dies at 22. And you are looking, you no know, people, everybody is confused. Because if everybody died at 40, it's easy to trace. So somebody is not getting married. If three people die 40 years, it's easy to trace. If three people die in the month of March, it's easy to trace. Somebody will die in January. Somebody will die in February. Somebody dies in March. They said none of you will cross the second quarter. So they will just give 20 years lifespan for the entire family just to wipe everybody out. There are families. They say nobody can have more than two children. You desire to have a big family. I guess also get a girl, one boy. And nothing is even coming now. Even fly. Somebody has made a decree. Maybe they wrote it down somewhere. But the Bible says in Job chapter 5 verse 12, it disappointed the devices of the crafty. It says so that their hands cannot perform their enterprise. I came by the instruction of Yahweh. God sent me here for somebody. I said in Micah 7 11, he said in that day that I was should be 
build. He said, then the decree will be removed far from you. Somebody did not hear that. Micah 7, 11, he said, in that day, when your day of restoration has come, he said that evil decree will be removed from you. You didn't get that. Let me speak to the ministers. God said, I should tell you. He said, your day of restoration has come. And that limitation is removed today. In the name of Jesus. Let me speak to the choir and the media. He said, in that day of your restoration, he said, the walls, the evil decrees, shall be far removed from you. In the name of Jesus. If you believe in shall fire. If you believe in shall fire. I can't believe that. Everyone, can you stretch your hands so I can pray? Can you stretch your hands here so I can pray? Oh, Kakubale Gaba. This is where my father said he prayed in tongue in capital letter. I don't know who made the decree. Oh, Canada Shah. The scripture says, Woe. Woe unto them that decree evil decrees. Woe to them that decree. As we are reversing it, they are going down for it. Amen. I say, As we are reversing it, they are going down for it. I say, As we are reversing it, they are going down for it. Every wrong was spoken over your life. I decree today we reverse them by fire. I say, We reverse them by fire. I said we reverse them by fire. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh Shakabaha, sit down. Ah, my father. Oh la radabadash. What does it mean to reverse evil decree? Oh Dadabakasha. Number one, it means to return it back to the sender. Hallelujah. They have said you will die before your time, or your family will not cross certain age. It will go back to them. They have said that you can't, no matter your educational level, you cannot get a job commensurate to your education. It goes back to them. I see people, they have studied something else and they are doing something. Let me tell you, there are people who do not go to you, the level of book you had, but they have money in millions. They have money in their account in millions, in billions. The Bible said, time and chance have put net to them all. It doesn't matter what you study. This one, people are switching from one career to the other. I hear that this one is invoked. Everybody is that one now. Tomorrow they say it's that one. Everybody is there. There is a power that wants to prostrate people. But I came. I came. By the instruction of Yahweh, I decree that decree is reversed. They that spoke the word, they shall go down with their words. In the name of Jesus. What does it mean to reverse evil decree number two? Is to cancel the effect. The effect of evil decrees. Hallelujah. Cancel the effect. Cancel the effect. There are people that looked at you and said you will not have children. I look at you and say you will carry your children. You will give birth to children. You will give birth to your children. There are people that look at you and they said no matter how hard you walk, you shall not eat the fruit of your labor. I say you will eat the fruit of your labor. Everything you labor for, you shall eat of it. I say you shall eat of it. In this land of America, I decree the God, the doors of goodness is open to you. Amen. The doors of goodness are open to you. Amen. The doors of favor they are open to you. Amen. In the name of Jesus, men will give to you. The nation will give to you. The state will give to you. Authorities will give to you. In the name of Jesus. Oh, Shaka Baha. Let's begin to reverse the decrees. Kola Rabasha. To reverse evil decrees, number one, fast and pray. Hallelujah. The church is just coming from a fasting and a prayer session. Life in the spirit. 
Before in the life, before the life in the spirit, I've had my own. Fifty days. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This most most suit cannot fit me, not because I'm doing gym. I'm not going to any gym. I am gymming in the spirit. Hallelujah. 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 Praise the Lord. Fast and pray. Esther said, he said, go gather the people. Let them fast and pray for me. Esther chapter 3 and verse 8. Kula rabakasha. Lebro gudu zagabaladash. Can we go there quickly? He said, Emma said unto uh, Esther chapter 3. Kula badash. Can you start reading from verse 6? Can you give us from verse 6? Kula rabashanda. Before we even go there, I want to give us a little story about what happened. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You see where this man, Herman said he, would, he doesn't want to kill only Mordecai. He said, let me wipe out the entire lineage. If you refuse to pray, it, the problem will not end with you. It's extended to everybody. Hallelujah. How did this happen? In Esther chapter 1, the Bible said, the queen, the king had a, a, a party. And invited people. They ate, they drank. The Bible said on the seventh day, continuous drinking, seven days, he was drunk. He said, bring my wife. Let her come and showcase her beauty. And the woman said, no, I'm not coming. And it became a public matter. The Bible talked about people gathered. Men, it became a committee. Committee sat to talk about somebody's wife. And one man spoke in verse 16. Esther chapter 1 and verse 16. One man spoke. He said, Memukan answered before the king and the princes. Vashti, the queen. One man. It was not a relation to the king. He was the least in the hierarchy. In the, he was the least. They mentioned him last, if you read verse 15. The seven princes of media, they sat to talk. The, the smallest in rank stood up and spoke. And Memu can uh, answer before the king. He said, and the princess, he said, and the princess, Vashti, and, the, uh, and the princess, he said, Vashti the queen had not done wrong to the king only. He said, but also to all the, the, the princes, he said, and to all the people that are in what? In the province. He said, of the king answers. If you read further down, he said, therefore, he gave an idea and he gave a judgment. He said, let this woman not come again to the queen, to the king. I don't understand. It's not your wife. You are not the one that married the, the queen for him. He said, let this woman not come before the king again. There are people, their mouth, when they open their mouth, so many things dies. One man spoke. A queen lost her throne, lost her marriage. One man. One man spoke. A queen lost her throne. Royalty is a lifetime thing. No, royalty is not uh, the kind of policies where they say you are empowered today, you are not tomorrow. A king is a king till they die. A queen is a queen till she dies. For the first time, a queen was dethroned. Somebody opened their mouth. You can be the owner of your business. People can collect your business because somebody opened their mouth. I want you to understand the strength of the voice of certain people. That is why you must be ready to go to any land to pray. Am I speaking to somebody here? In Matthew 17, 21. He said, how be this kind goeth not, except by what? Fasting. There are some voices you can only erase when you pray and fast. If you are running from fasting and prayer, you are running from the problem. The problem in your days, if Jesus started continuing the life of your children, God forbid, because you will pray today. Hallelujah. As we pray today, whatever has been in motion in your family, it shall come to an end in the name of Jesus. As we pray today, whatever the enemy program, it shall come to an end in the name of Jesus. That queen lost her throne. Now Esther came in. The same man, the same man, I, I, I believe it was part of the people that brought her. Esther chapter 2 from verse 21. The Bible says, Bitana and Teresh, they sought to lay hands on the king. They plotted evil. Mordecai discovered it and he told the king. And they, they, they checked into it. They investigated it was true. The Bible said the men were hung on the tree. Hallelujah. Esther chapter 2 verse 21, verse 22, verse 23. Now, that's the end of verse 22. 23 now. He said, after all these things, 23 verse 1. 
He said then, Haman was promoted. Somebody has work. Somebody else is eating the proceeds. Mordecai saw the plot and revealed it. And he was certified to the king. And Esther chapter 3 verse 1 media. Hallelujah. And the Bible said after all this thing in Esther chapter 3 verse 1, he said then the king promoted Haman. Who was supposed to be promoted after all these things? Mordecai is the one that was somebody. Let me tell you, there are wicked men in places. They can look at your hard work and they say you will die labor. But I stand here as an extension of grace. I say you will eat the fruit of your labor. Amen. There are people that look at you and they say, this family, this one is traveling abroad. You will go and toil every day and come back empty. But I stand here by the voice of God. I say you shall not go empty. I say you shall not go empty. Amen. In the name of Jesus. They tell which mommy. They know when rain will fall. They know the day it will rain. They can transfer your rain to another side. If they can be that strong and you come to the house of God, you don't expect God to manifest Himself. There are people every day, sometimes, even when you call a, a case, they'll be calculating. Is it me? Who did I tell? Who did I tell? You didn't tell anybody. Juju man knows. Even when you left your heart, they saw you coming out. So, do you think God doesn't know? He knows. Hallelujah. God knows. There are men, they throw things up, they shake water, your face appears. But I came to scatter that pot. Anywhere they have been controlling your life from, I stand here by the power of the Holy Ghost in this Lion of Judah service. I said, when they call your name, they shall see Lion. When they call your name, they shall see the Lion of Judah. When they call your name, they shall see fire. In the name of Jesus. A man monitored when promotion was coming, he transferred it to his hand. A man saw another man about to be promoted and he, trans, he, he translocated the, the promotion. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He translocated. Don't mind my English. Does it make sense? Yes, uh -huh. Hallelujah. He, he, he removed the promotion that was coming to another person. People can collect other people's staff. When the wise men saw the staff, they were not good men. It, they came all the way to worship. They said, this time is bigger than us. In every other star they see, they try to manipulate. There are stars they see, they cover. There are stars they see, they collect. This one, they try to collect, it's not entering their hand. They try to cover, it's still shining the more. Uh, the more they were attempting, the more they start watching. That is how your star will be after now. Every attempt of witchcraft over your life, I stand as a son of God's oracle and I speak to your life. Nobody can see you after now. Amen. They cannot see your star after Amen. now. When they call your name, fire will appear. Amen. When they call your family, fire will appear. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. A man begin to divert people's promotion. And the same man got angry. In Esther chapter 3. From verse 5, he was saying that. He said, okay, I've marked you. Now I know your family. I will not kill you alone. He said, I will kill everybody. And he went. He said, because Mordecai did not bow to him. When you read that scripture, the man did not tell the king that uh, this man did not bow to me. He said, there are certain people around your kingdom. They have diverse laws, diverse cultures. They don't respect the king. They are not doing what the king wants them to do. Was that true? What was their problem? He refused to bow. He refused to bow. He refused to bow. In verse 8. And then the man was giving, he told the king, he said, king, if it pleases you, he said, Haman said unto, unto uh, King Azarus, there is a certain people scattered abroad and dispersed among the people. He said, in all the provinces of the kingdom and their laws are diverse. Are you hearing? From all people. Neither keep they the king's laws. Is that true? 
But the mistake he made, he did not know that the people he was condemning, they were already in the palace. Oh, somebody did not hear that. They said, nobody can prosper in your family. They did not know you would be in a, in a place like this. Amen. They did not know you belong to a firebrand family. Amen. They did not know God carried you to Omega. Amen. I stand here as a representative of my father. I decree over your life. Everyone antagonistic to your program, they go down by fire. I said, they go down by fire. I said, they go down by fire. I said, they go down by fire. In the name of Jesus. That story is interesting. Hallelujah. We will reverse every decree that Amen. has been made. We will reverse every decree that has been made. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, Prayer is needed. You must pray and fast. Hallelujah. You must pray and fast. Praise the Lord. In Esther chapter 9. That man, a man was a terrible kind of person. Hallelujah. A man donated himself to be an enemy. He said, I will pay. I will pay. <laughs> Listen, people can pay anything just to bring somebody down. So I pity when we come to the house of God and we feel like, oh, it's only offering. It's only, it's all about, it's all about money. So when I read that story, I asked myself a question. Was, the king was not poor. In their days, kings had gold and jewelry. The man said, I will give, is it 360 tons of silver? King, come out the ring, come out and he come out the ring. He give, I say, take. The man mentioned what he will give. The king removed his ring. The ring is a symbol of authority. Anytime they use the king's signal ring to put on a matter, it is sealed. Nobody argues. It's a law from that moment. He took out his ring. Somebody mentioned money. There are people going from place to place. They will buy cow to kill. The Bible makes us to understand. You read Numbers 22. The Bible said there were Shabana Haka. There was a king. He said he called a prophet Balaam. He said, Come and cost these people for me. I will give you anything you want. The people that want to see you down, they are ready to sacrifice everything they have. We are not ready to sacrifice even time in service to God. Place of giving. That is why it looks like the enemy is stronger. The enemy is not stronger. The scripture makes us to understand. A king, when he saw the battle was strong, he killed his child. There was a prophecy hanging. When he killed his child, he began to win. He, 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 was, he was defeating Israel. Why? He did a sacrifice that nobody has done. The people after your life, they can sacrifice. I can tell you there are people who have been in church 10 years, 20 years. They have never fasted one day, morning, morning to 6 p.m. Fast and pray. Hallelujah. When you begin to build that capacity, there are times God wants to just take you out from battles. There are times God wants to keep you from certain things. God wants to differentiate you from others. There are times God has seen the battle in your family. And God said, I want, I need a vessel. He said, I sought for a man that will stand the gap. That my goodness can reach this family. And God is looking for a man and a woman. And when we gather to pray, even the midday prayer, some people are home making their head. God is looking for a man. If you don't join prayer, who did you, who did you affect? When you pray, is it not for your life? Eh? When you pray, are you not praying for your life? When you come to church, are you not coming for yourself? So why, do, why does it have to appear like a fight? When you pray, you are praying for yourself. So take out time. When they say fasting, join the fast. When they say prayer, join the prayer. When they say service, join the service. They say activity, join the activity. As you are doing that, angels are standing on your back. The man is ready to pay anything. 360 tons of silver. Because of Mordecai's head. You are seeing your head. You, see, you think that you, don't, you are not valuable. The value you have, the enemy is seeing, is bigger than what you can think. The Bible said, what shall he profit a man if he loses his own life, if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul? So it means your soul is bigger than the, the world. Your soul is bigger than the world. What shall he profit you if you gain the whole world and lose your soul? If you, if you lose your soul and get something bigger, it means you profit, right? But the scripture said, there is no profit if you gain this whole world. I lose your soul. The price tag on your head, the enemy can see. Only church, we cannot see. 
the value of your life. The enemy can see. Only you cannot see. The value of your destiny. Witches and wizards can see. Only you cannot see. Some people even get angry when they see dreams. Ah, what kind of dream is that? I always see myself with money. I work on no money. God is showing you the future. There is a way to arrive there. It's not that some people say, I didn't want to wake up from that dream. Convert what you saw in the dream to the real life. And God will begin to order your steps. I don't know who has made a price over your life. Somebody say, my head is not for sale. Say, my family is not for sale. Say, my head is not for sale. Say, my family is not for sale. Say, my head is not for sale. Ashaka Balata. The man paid for the head of the for the guy, he saw the man's action. And that is why he said, this man this is not the kind of person I should get close to. Somebody that was after his head. Hallelujah. But thank God they prayed. As I said, gather the men, let them pray. Child of God, there are enemies. See, you have enemies. Some people don't believe. <laughs> you have enemies. Matthew 13, 25. He said, while men slept. No, it's not the enemy. He's his enemy. So your particular enemy, the one that comes to you and is your enemy, is somebody that has looked at you and said, this one, you will not go to where you're supposed to go to. This one, what is your expectation? I want to do this. I want to do that. I want to build a house. I want to have a future. He said, this one, you cannot have a future. That is your own enemy. The one that comes to oppress your womb, he said, this womb cannot carry children. I oppress them back. The one that comes to oppress your finances, you invest heavily. But the result, I decree we shall oppress them today. I say we shall oppress them today. I say we shall oppress them today. In the name of Jesus. Let's go to, let's go to uh, Esther chapter 9 verse 24. He calls him the enemy of all the Jews. Hallelujah. Can we read it together? Because Haman, the son of Hamedeta, the Agagite, if the father's name, the tribe where he came from, everything is terrible. Is Haman, the son of who? Hamedeta. Whether not data for phone, I don't know. The Agagite, Agidi generation. He said, the enemy of all the Jews. He volunteered to make himself an enemy. Anyone that has made himself an enemy over your life, there is an answer for them. Say, there is an answer for them. In the name of Jesus. Kabbalata. You know, when Mordecai was looking at, he knew that Haman was a bad person. But he did not know the degree of evil embedded in the man. That is why he thought that just made jackass. He said, no, hey, hey, you are not talking today. It doesn't stop them from afflicting your life. You are not talking to them. It's not enough to stop them from afflicting your life. A man thought that not greeting him is enough. He did not know that that is nothing to handle. Let me show you something. This man is a devil. There are people around us. There are people around us. All they think about is how to cause you pain. There are people around your family. All they think about is to cause you hurt. But God, we have me see. Today we mark their end. In the name of Jesus. He made himself an enemy. Not just to one man. From one man to the entire generation. To an entire nation. I have an answer for enemies. I have an answer for enemies. I have an answer for enemies. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 and verse 7. He said, the Lord shall cause thy enemy that rises up against thee to fall, to be smitten before thy face. He said, they shall come to thee in one way, but they will scatter. They will flee in many ways. That is to say, if they come as a team, they will go back because they will tear each other. If it comes as a person, it will go back in part because we will cut off the head, we will cut off the hand, we will cut off the leg. I prophesy. Anyhow they come, they will scatter. I said they will scatter. I said they will scatter. I said they will scatter. In the name of Jesus. Esther 7 and verse 5. Let me show us something. This man was wicked. This man was wicked. Esther chapter 7 from verse 5. Esther 7 verse 5. He said then, then the king answered and said unto Esther, Queen, who is he 
And where is he that presumes in the heart to do so? Wait. Take your time. Let's see the next verse. You will see three. You will see Haman's. No. Haman's first, second, and last name. Let's see it here. Verse 6. Is an Esther said the adversary. Somebody say adversary. adversary. Haman's first name is adversary. Adversary is that power, that individual that is opposing your progress. So Herman's first name was adversary. And the second is an enemy. His first name is adversary. Second name is what? Enemy. And the last name is what? Ah. One man. Adversary. Second. Enemy. Third. Wicked. In First John chapter 5 and verse 19. The Bible says, we know we are God and the whole world lieth in wickedness. There are wicked men. He said, among my people are wicked men. Listen, there is result for wicked people. When you lift up the Bible, I want you to, can you carry your Bible wherever you are? See, in that Bible, there are every character we can be in life. The one we choose from the beginning, that's the one we will end up with. There is Abraham, there is David, there is Judas, and there is Amen. Which one do you choose? <laughs> what you choose is the result you get. He said this, this, the adversary, the enemy, the wicked man. There is an answer. There is an end for them. Esther knew that dealing with adversary, enemy, and the wicked is not a matter of quarrel. It's not a matter I'm not talking to you, you're not talking to me. It's a matter of fasting and prayer. You didn't get that. It's a matter of doing what? Fasting and prayer. If you don't pray, your enemies turns you into a prey. The agenda is just to see you go down. People will say they don't have You might think you don't have. The last time everything was looking good and suddenly changed. What happened? What happened? What is it you did not do right? There is somebody. There is a decree. There are words that have been spoken that are diverting even helpers from your life. There are people, oh, Shako Balata, the Lord is dropping this in my spirit. Somebody's life is about to change. Amen. I say, your life is about to change. Amen. People walk into your life, everything begins to look good, and suddenly they turn their backs on you. A word was spoken. That is why I came. A word was spoken. Oh, Shako Balata, in Esther chapter 4, verse 16, Esther said, go gather all the Jews. Gather everyone. No one should eat nor drink. Three days pray and fast for me. Prayer and fasting. There are things that will never change unless a man prays. There are things that will not change unless a man fasts. Fasting and prayer is what will make a difference in our life. Amen. Ah, Shako. As we begin to engage in our fasting and our prayer life, I see God bringing you out of every evil decrees in the name of the Lord Jesus. Number two, before we pray, our time is running fast. Number two, to end decrees, make new decrees. Hallelujah. To reverse the decree, make new decrees. Hallelujah. Only a decree can combat a decree. Hallelujah. Only a decree can combat a decree. Esther chapter 3, 6 to 13. We read that over and over. Now Esther chapter 7 verse 10. The man that plotted to kill Mordecai, he saw his end. So they hanged him. He prepared a gallow. But when, when that decree has been reversed, the things are going in the opposite direction. Am I speaking to somebody here? In Esther chapter, Esther chapter 8. Esther chapter 8 verse 5. Esther 8 verse 5. Quick. He said, and if it please the king. Now, the same way he, he made his own request. He said, it's not befitting. So, but his king is okay. I will pay this so that you can. This is the same thing they did for him. Hallelujah. Can we read that together? If it please the king. And if I have found favor. Favor is bigger than money. <laughs> favor is a higher currency. He had, he had money to pay. So that his decree we hold ground. Somebody asked, he said, if I have found favor. And we know Esther moved by favor. The Bible said in Esther chapter 2 and verse 15 and verse 17, he said, Esther found favor in the eyes of the king and everyone that set their eyes upon her. That is where I am standing from. This altar, we are in the home of uncommon favor. I came here by favor. I decree that decree over your life shall be reversed. That decree over your family shall be reversed. That decree over your life shall be reversed. 
I declare by your family shall be reversed. In the name of Jesus. As I said, if I have found favor, there is favor in this house. Amen. There is favor in this house. 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 If I have found favor, put back our scripture on the screen, the media. He said, let it be written. Oh, Yakub Aladasha. Esther chapter 7 and verse 5. Is it 8 5 now? 8 5. Esther 8 5. We're, we're going to read verse 6 as well. But let's do 5 first. He said, If I have found favor in his sight, and the thing seem right before the king, and I be pleasing in the eyes, let it be written. When favor comes, you must be a pleaser. When favor is with you, you know, each time I read the Bible, there's one thing that keeps confusing me. Leave that on the screen. I'm wondering how a king snatched Sarah, who was 90 years old. A king. Kings, families gather their virgins, go give to king. Say, king, if you please, you choose one from here. A king saw Sarah and snatched grandma. No, that's great, grand, great grandma. Eh? A king saw great grandma and snatched from a man. He did not go for virgins, so. though. When favor is upon your life, there are some of you now in your family. They don't ask any woman how far. After now, even your grandmother will get engaged. Amen. Somebody don't hear that. I say after now, even your grandmother will get engaged. Amen. Ah, yeah, 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 yeah. If I'm speaking to you, run around. I can grow by your life by the favor of God. I say even your mother, Amen. your grandmother, Amen. we get engaged in the name of Jesus. Somebody say, I receive favor. 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 Are you ready to pray? Say, my father, my father. Lion of Judah. As I begin to pray in the name of Jesus, enemies, adversaries, wicked men, wicked women, against my life, against my family, against what is important, be destroyed, 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 Say my father, my father, my father, my lion father. of Judah, lion of Judah. As I begin to pray, as I begin to in pray, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, I change every decree, I change every decree. over my family, over my family, over my lineage, over my lineage, over my life, over my life, over my destiny, over my destiny, over the church, over the church that is not of God, that is not of God. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I pronounce good I pronounce good decrees. I pronounce long life. I pronounce prosperity. I pronounce prosperity. I pronounce settlement. I 
I pronounce that. I pronounce favor. I pronounce favor. I pronounce favor. I pronounce favor. I pronounce healing. I pronounce healing. I pronounce favor. I pronounce favor. Begin to call those things that are missing from your life. I pronounce fruitfulness. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, mighty name we pray. Amen. Everyone stretch your hand towards me. Give us Job chapter 22 and verse 28. Job 22, 28. Yes, that was the right scripture. Put it up. He said, he said, thou shalt decree a thing and it shall be established Amen. unto thee. And the light shall shine upon thy ways. Amen. For every word you have spoken, whatever thing that is missing in your life and family, I decree now that you have asked for, let it be established. Amen. Amen. It looks like some people have not prayed. There are families, even though they are so educated, poverty never leaves them. Mm. Today, I create a new decree. Amen. May you begin to receive wealth on every side. Amen. I say wealth on every side. Amen. I say wealth on every side. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. There are individuals. There is nothing you have started that you finish with your hands. You start school, you left halfway. Everything you start, you leave halfway. Even jobs, you quit halfway. Some, even the enemy is even programming to make you quit church. I, but I pray for you. The finisher's anointing is coming upon you. Amen. Amen. Everything you start from today, you shall complete it. Amen. You start a building project, you will complete it. Amen. You start a business, you will complete it. Amen. You start an organization, you will complete it. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. For those that are programmed on timely death, I decree that if Jesus tarry, you will see your great grandchildren. Amen. Amen. We establish a new order. Amen. In your life, in your family. Amen. For those, somebody has said over their dead body, will you carry your child? Uh, that prayer is answered because they are dead. Amen. Amen. Get ready to carry your children. Amen. Get ready to enter your marriage. Amen. Get ready, get ready for that testimony. Amen. Get ready for that breakthrough. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. God said there are people they have said you can go to America, but return, let us see. So over their dead body shall you return. The prayer is answered because let them begin to locate where they want to be buried. Because you are going home in a grand style. Amen. Whatever you need to go home, be it finance, it is released. Amen. Be it documentation, it is released. Amen. Be it settlement in the life, it is released. Amen. I stand as an extension of grace. I prophesy upon your life. Mercy. You shall prosper. Amen. I say you will prosper. Amen. Evil decrees are removed from you. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Blessed be your holy name, Jesus. Hallelujah. The only God show me somebody you, in your heart is like there is a piercing. Something was piercing. I know why we have been praying. You don't feel the pain. Or why in church? Someone a piercing in their heart. It's something that comes. Come, 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 come. A piercing in your heart. Pain. Oh, la rakate vedesh. Le krusi karapalata yadabadash. Hey, do we believe in testimony? Yes. 
Yes, Papa. God will give us a practical testimony. Amen. After today, you shall see it no more. Amen. Moses said to the people, he said, the Egyptians that you see today, you shall see them no more. Amen. That pain goes back to wherever it came from. Amen. That person that has been piercing, I decree we pierce their hearts. Amen. 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 Heart. Amen. Why God is making you whole? Lay your hand. Lay your hand on this. Put your hand there. Your hand. Father, I speak healing. Power of God, make yourself available in the life of your daughter. Amen. Lord, give her a touch. Amen. A touch of wholeness. Amen. Let the heart be mended. Amen. Let your heart be mended. Amen. Let your heart be mended. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let your heart be mended. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Overhaul. Amen. Father, touch her all over her body. Amen. Whatever arrow they have sent, I send it back. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. In Psalm 91. Psalm 91 verse 5. Please bring it down. Psalm 91 verse 5 and 6. Bring verse 5. He said, Thou, uh, Psalm 95, 91, verse 5, sorry. Thou shalt not have, be afraid of what? Terror. Terror by night, nor the arrow. We're going to take one more prayer. Every arrow fired against my health, fired against my wealth, fired against my prosperity, fired against my family, fired against my settlement. Anything you can mention as I pray now, I send it back to the sender. Amen. Say, My father, my father, my father, my as father. I begin to pray as I begin in, to the pray. in the name of Jesus, every arrow, every arrow fired against my head, fired against my life, fired against, 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 against my marriage, fired against, fire against, against my destiny. As I pray now, as I pray send now, it back to sender, I send it back to sender, I send it back to sender, in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, clap your hands and pray, 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 clap Shaka <laughs> In name we pray. Amen. I don't know if somebody have issue. I saw like, I don't know if it's an attempt or something that has been done. Someone's license has been revoked. Or maybe the enemy has pronounced it or there's a threat on your license to operate in a particular area. That's what I heard God say. To pray, cancel it. Every program of hell, they are attacking, their program is to seize your license. To make sure you don't operate in your field. Who is the person? Who, who does exportation here? export. You want to start or you are into? You have started. Oh, you are entering. You have started. Who is it that at your place of operation somebody said, I will make sure you are not able to operate? I will make sure you are not able to walk. You are not able to do what you are doing. Eh? It's been a while. I will go deeper. Don't worry. The Holy Ghost is here. Amen. I will go deeper. Lebro kuta zaka tu balash, inko kuto bala de balash, eka kuta di balash, libra kuto zokosh. Come, come and hold my hand, man. God will prosper that which you have begun. Amen. Amen. It shall prosper Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. It shall prosper in the name of Jesus. Amen. Put both hands here. Both hands on top of my hand. Everything that you set your heart to do, it shall prosper. Amen. Amen. It shall prosper. Amen. 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 It shall prosper. 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 Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. The God of heaven give you favor. Amen. You can't you can't take anything from
from a man that is favor. In Genesis 39, verse 21, the Bible said the Lord was with Joseph. He showed him mercy and he gave him favor. That is what stood him out. You will stand out. Amen. 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 In the name of Jesus. Amen. I saw a roadblock. I saw a business transaction, a consignment living here. That has things. Some of the things I saw, I saw tire inside. I saw, eh? I saw tires inside. I saw things inside. Eh? Yeah. That's what you do. But I saw the devil wage a roadblock on it. But thank God, this fire night is break the limitation. This Friday, we are breaking anyone that wants to be an obstacle. We will grind them. Amen. Amen. Lift up your hand. See, you will be a sign and a wonder. Amen. Amen. Let me tell you something. Let me tell you what people will tell you after you travel. The next time you go home, they will ask you, who are you? They will ask you, what do you do? Are, have you joined something abroad? That's what I hear. Because they will look for you. They will not see you. Amen. Amen. The Bible said, there is a place that the eye of the vulture has not seen. When God covers you, the eyes of the wicked cannot see you. Amen. It doesn't matter how close they are to you by family. I decree today by the mandate of Yahweh, you are protected. Amen. Your business protected. Amen. Your life protected. Amen. Your destiny protected. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Father, we give you thanks and praise. You will prosper. Amen. I say you will prosper. Amen. I say you will prosper. Amen. I say you will prosper. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Let me mark him with us, please. Heavenly Father, we thank you. Thank you, Lord. Father, I speak over the life of your son. Let this all be a mark of protection. Let it be a mark of preservation. I decree everything you touch is blessed. Open your hand. I decree favor. I decree money. Amen. I decree favor. I decree money. Amen. I decree favor. Amen. I decree connection. I decree favor. Amen. Anywhere they are waiting to stop you, we uproot them by fire. Amen. The God of my Father will go before you. Amen. It will uproot every satanic agent opposing your progress. In Jesus' name. Amen. Go and prosper. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless Amen. you. Kaladabakasha. Libro go do go do go do go do. Ah, we give you thanks, Father. Pass me not, O gentle Savior. Yeah, my heart will cry. Why long not as thou art called? Thou art calling. Do not pass. Oh, my Savior, 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 my humble cry, hear my humble cry, why? That has produced a resistance and limitation for your life. Maybe in settlements, in your desire. I decree this minute, it is lifted by fire. Amen. There are women, no man has proposed to you for several years. You are waiting for marriage. After this meeting, men will begin to rush to you. Amen. And God will send the right person. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Amen. 
faithful father, I mark your children. Amen. Mark of preservation. Amen. Mark of favor. Amen. Mark of preservation. Amen. Mark of favor. Amen. Mark of preservation. Mark of favor. Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. Thank you, my Father. Thank you, Jesus. In Kambuna, in Thank you, Holy Spirit. I pray for people in business. The Lord will prosper you. Amen. The Lord will prosper you. The Lord will prosper you. Amen. The Lord will prosper you. 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 In the name of the Lord Jesus. Father, we are grateful. Thank you, faithful God. Thank you, King of Glory. Blessed be your holy name, King of Glory. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Please come, let me bless you. The God of heaven will give you favor. The God of heaven will prosper you. He will open your door. He will give you strength. God is about to open strange doors for you. God is about to give you speed. You hear me? Speed. 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 Hallelujah. If God, when God changes these things for you, eh, in less than a year, will you serve God? Are you sure? Are you sure? Do you know where you are? I've seen people, they had, they had immigration appointment for 2024. I told them we can bring it to 2022. And we brought it to 2022. And God grant the document to them. Because what I want to pray is all around rest. All around. Amen. Not in one side. And then you start looking for another. God wants to give you one time settlement. Amen. Are you going to serve him? All right. I will pray. This is where we specialize. When it looks impossible in the eyes of men, it's possible with our God. Amen. I decree before this time next year. I see celebration, celebration, Amen. celebration, celebration. Amen. The God of heaven, if we enter your matter, if we put pressure over your matter, Amen. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I decree that if we open strange doors for you. If we open strange doors for you. If we open strange doors for you. In the name of Jesus. Father, I speak favor. I speak speed. I decree favor. I decree speed. I decree favor. I decree speed. I decree favor. I decree speed. In the name of Jesus. saying that, that is what I also want to do. Who is the person? Eh? The God of my father, he will not just do it, he will do it in another dimension. Amen. Even the things that you are thinking might not be what you will get at the end. Father, we thank you. Thank you, King of Glory. The Lord give you speech.
hear me? Are you ready? Church. Lord, grant you favor. Jesus' name. Let's put us together for Jesus. I don't want to spend so much time. It's already after one o'clock. Can we do an appeal as we as, as a round of this fire night will be fire. Amen. Don't miss it for anything. Invite somebody. God will be here. He will break limitation. That limitation to your happiness, to your fulfillment, it shall be lifted this Friday. As we gather in God's presence, get ready for testimonies. I speak the blessing of God over your life. The God of my Father, Apostle John C. Suleiman, bless you. Amen. May he prosper you. Amen. May he give you favor on every side. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Amen. Put your right hand on your head. Say, my head is a good head. My head is a good head. My life is a good one. My life is a good one. Angels shall fight for me. Angels shall fight for me. Goodness is on my side. Goodness is on my side. Greatness shall follow me. Greatness shall follow me. No matter what the matter is. No matter what the matter is. I will matter where matters the most. Matter.